Hi everybody, this video tip is coming to you from Inverness in Scotland where I happen to be for a couple of weeks uh, running an occupancy modelling course and also attending a conference next week. Now one thing I've seen people do quite a bit over the years is to look at how much overlap there is between two confidence interval estimates and using that overlap as an indication of whether there's a significant difference between those two quantities or not. For example, you might be comparing the population size of a certain uh, animal species uh, at two different points in time. Now there's nothing particularly wrong with that, but what people don't realise is that when they're doing that sort of comparison, they're probably actually performing a, a much stricter assessment or test than they intend. So for example, if you're comparing two 95% confidence intervals, then and looking at if there's overlap or not, uh, if there is no overlap, and concluding that that as an indication of a significant difference, the natural hypothesis testing, the natural alpha level or type 1 error rate for that hypothesis test uh, isn't 5%, it's actually half a percent. You know, it's a p-value of 0 0.005 instead of 0 0.05. And so if you're actually interested in that difference, what you need to be doing is calculating the difference itself and calculating a confidence interval on that difference and so if you do that, so here's an example on screen now, we can see that here we have a situation where there's no overlap between those two uh, confidence intervals on the left hand side, but on the right hand side we've calculated the, the difference and put a confidence interval on that, and just note how far away from zero the, the limits are of the confidence intervals on the difference. And here's an example now, we can see that actually we can have quite a lot of overlap between our two confidence intervals uh, for our two quantities of interest, and yet the uh, confidence interval on the difference can still be outside of zero. So there you have it, the piece of advice is if you are interested in um, the difference or whether there's a difference between two quantities, don't just look at the confidence interval estimates themselves for those two estimates, actually calculate the difference and put a confidence interval on that. I hope you found that useful, uh, stay tuned for, for more video tips that will come in the future. Uh, if you're looking for some more, check out the news tips and tricks page on the Proteus website. Thanks, we'll catch you later.